well, I just had one last question really was just to tell us a little bit about your your feelings for Bristol because Bristol's obviously incredibly fond of you and how are your feelings about the city? Well I was elected when I was 25 when Stafford Cripps retired there was a by-election and I was picked and I was uh, the youngest member of parliament for a very short period and uh, obviously a member and his constituents are very important. It's a very interesting job being an MP. Very few people realise it's the only case I can think of where you've got one employee, the MP, and 60,000 employers. Now, when I was in Bristol as a member, everyone I met employed me, the bus driver, the street sweeper, the home help, the district nurse, the policeman. And so you were free to say what you liked, but they, you knew that they could get rid of you if they didn't like it. And that was the discipline on a Member of Parliament, but it means there's a, it's, it's a sort of love affair with the constituency. And when I was defeated in 83, I was absolutely shattered. I was 58, didn't know what would happen. I was out of work again. And then I was lucky to be uh, adopted for Chesterfield the following spring. And then I had 20 years in Chesterfield and I got very fond of them. But if you've been a member, going back afterwards, you feel a little bit uh, strange uh, and people say to you, you know, uh, have you ever been in Bristol before and, and you don't realise that you've been there as a member and so you have to be very respectful when you go back. But it is a love affair being an MP, I think. How did Bristol help you when you were having your battle with the peerage? Oh well, the Bristol Labour Party I t they knew the problem because when I was selected in 1950, I said to them at the selection conference, my dad is 73 and uh, I've only got till he dies to be here because I knew what the law was and uh, so they knew they'd taken on that risk. And then I tried to get rid of it before my dad died and they supported me, the Lord Mayor and Alderman sent a petition to a parliament to support me and that failed and then when... Uh, my dad died and I was out, the local party decided to back me as a disqualified candidate. It was a tremendous risk to take, it was expensive to run a campaign and they were tremendously supportive and uh, I mean truthfully it was Bristol that won that uh, campaign, it wasn't me. I mean I was able to say they want me and uh, even when I'm disqualified they want me and uh, that was what made it possible for the campaign to succeed. It must be a very humbling feeling that when an electorate, knowing that you you have been disqualified, votes you back in. That must be a very well. It was a very moving thing to do, and the election itself was a thrilling one because we ran it as a sort of campaign, and had all sorts of people came down and supported me, and people came and listened, and uh, uh, and it, it, it that really. You know, establish my feelings about Bristol in a way that is difficult to describe. Mm. Anything with you? Any questions? No, it's been fascinating, man. I have one last question. Another technicality. One technicality is a very short question. In, in 1963, uh, uh, um, did, did people call you Mr. Wedgwood Ben, or did they call you Mr. Ben? at that time. Well, because, because I know in the 70s you said I just want to be known as Tony, Tony Benn. Ben, yes. Well my full name is Anthony Wedgwood Ben, and I used to sign A and W Ben and so on but it was rather complicated and it, uh, people thought it had something to do with the pottery company so <laughs> I had my friends called me Tony so I adopted that. Right. right. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to say or any reflections? No you've, you've from covered that time? it completely yeah. I feel I've been through an examination. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to be pleasant. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very well, much. Very nice. Yeah, it's just that it's so it it is, you know, there's so many little intricacies intricacies and because we've been exploring all these histories, all this all these other other questions have come up now that we you know, qualifying with other people's yes. interviews, that's why really. And with Gareth as well. Mm. So you're getting, you know, you have been grilled <laughs> by a board here. But thank you so much. Absolutely fascinating. Wonderful. Really, really interesting. Um, I don't know whether Paul thinks my contribution helped very much getting Wilson to support it. And he always says, mentions it. Oh, does he? Yeah. Mm.